The survey feature is a powerful tool that enables you to scan or survey all of the volatility charts. To use this, click on the survey button up here at the top next to OpScan. This brings up the survey screen. Here we have several windows and let's go through these beginning in the top left. For our purposes, let's initially scan all of the assets. And I'll put in here a number pretty high, 5,000. And let's pick these based upon the greatest dollar volume of options traded. Now note that we have a drop down here with several different parameters and we're going to use a few of them here today. But this is the pick line item and we're going to pick 5,000 items based upon their greatest dollar volume of options traded. Now if there are 10,000 items out there, we're going to pick the 5,000 that have the greatest dollar volume or DVO uh, figure. So this is the way we select our population. Now, once we have this population, we're going to sort these based upon another parameter. In this case, let's sort these based upon the same thing, greatest DVO. Later, we'll get to these other items based upon IV and SV. There we go. Underneath, we can select items either in the US or Australia. We can select stocks, indices, several items here. We're going to just simply look at all. And then later, we'll show you how to use the selected assets area there. Let's go to the right. My minimum DVO, I'm going to select the number 1, meaning 1,000. I want to see a complete list. Minimum price is 1. Minimum history, I need it to have about a, at least a year or so of data and the percentile figures will use up to five years. Let's click go and now it is querying, scanning, or doing a survey of all the volatility charts in the system, at least 5,000. And there we have them. You can see they are ranked in accordance to their DVO dollar volume of options traded. This is in thousands of dollars and so the SPX on average this last week traded uh, 327 million dollars of options on a daily basis. And we go down the, from there, a pretty big jump downward to the spider, SP futures, and onward downward. Now, let's uh, scroll down and you can see if I go all the way to the end, there are 3,029 volatility charts kept in the program. That is, that's all the assets in the U.S. traded on the uh, uh, U.S. exchanges for options. The DVO, look at this, just $1,000. That's the minimum number. Now let's scroll up and you can see pretty quick and let's just find the first one with a hundred. There we go. Right about there. Look at that. There are 775 uh, items trading options that have a DVO of a hundred thousand or more. Let's have the next cutoff be a million. You can of course do this in your program. 205, there are 205 items, underlying assets, trading over a million dollars of daily uh, options volume. All right, that gives you kind of a good idea, right? So let's say uh, we want to run another scan. I'm just giving you some perspective here, and I would encourage you to use your survey uh, feature to kind of get your own perspective on what's out there. Let's next try one where we're going to take the top 100 most liquid option chains with the greatest dollar volume of options traded. I'm just going to pick the 100 top ones. And those will be starting here. I'm going to come up here. There we go. Those will be these items here coming down to the MGM. All of those. And I'm going to take those 100 and I'm going to sort them, uh, let's say by their IV percentile. I want to maybe, let's say that you want to trade uh, long straddles or long strangles or you want to do uh, you know look at items that have a very low relative implied volatility I'm gonna select the lowest current IV percentile I'm gonna rank them or sort them based upon that parameter lowest current IV percentile okay let's click go and there we have it Cisco in this case, trades over th almost three and a half million dollars in options on average per day. Has an implied volatility percentile at just one. One percentile. Let's go to that volatility chart. 
And we can see that indeed implied volatility is very, very low relative to its history. You see that? Let's go here to the weekly and we can bring in the price chart if we want. But that is one that has very low relative implied volatility, you know, relative to its past. So we can also do another. Let's say that you want to sell premium and sell higher relative implied volatility. Volatility. Let's go to highest current IV percentile and recast the scan. There we go. ABX implied volatility at an 81 percentile. Let's bring up the volatility chart, and the price chart, and you can see implied is kind of higher relative to its its distant past. All right, let's look at another one. Finally, yeah, let's look at the third one I had. Let's just say you want to find those items out there that are just really, really uh, high implied volatility, the highest implied volatility, the 100 that have the highest IV. And let's say, well, let's just keep that number at 1, minimum DVO. Let's see what we got here. There we go. ISSC, IV of on average 228%. That's just really high. But it only trades $1,000 in options on average per day. That's not very much. You may want to filter that out. And to do that, you would go to the minimum DVO. And let's say that you want to run the same scan but the minimum DVO should be at least 100,000. Let's run that. And now we have 205, 139, etc. Now on all of these, you can click, bring up the price and Volte chart, and then click the Next button, and then just zip through these charts, looking at them just like so. Some of these have really high implied volatility, implying that there's something going on in these options and we're not too surprised that some of these are pharmaceuticals, perhaps with an FDA announcement pending and so forth. Okay. Finally, I wanted to show you something we can do here. We can scan. Instead of looking at all the volatility charts in the system, we can limit our scan to just a group. So let's just left click anywhere in this group. Let's go to Survey. And we're going to come down here, and instead of selecting all, I'm going to uh, go to Selected Assets and pick the group, and just do a query of these. Which one of these five have the highest implied volatility? There we go. Highest implied volatility. You can see that. Let's sort these uh, based upon something else. Maybe uh, uh, highest current, uh, well, let's do the percentiles and so forth. There we go rank them that way. So in this way, you can create a group in your quotes display and use the survey to sort and query just that group. It's a wonderful tool for doing that and sorting through where the implied volatility percentile rankings would be relative to different stocks. I hope you found this to be a powerful tool. Please feel free to go ahead and, and just uh, test it out yourself using all the different parameters I showed you in the pick and sort lines.